San, San Pellegrino yeah. is now selling their water with bubbles. Yeah, that's, that's horse crap. In a plastic bottle. Get that out of here. It's horrible. Get out of here. Okay. So you know how I feel about uh, plastic vessels within uh, that holds water. Yeah, plastic receptacles. They suck. That, that hold two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. Don't like it. Don't like it. By the way, you saw my uh, kettlebell slash uh, water right. metal yesterday. That's dope, I think. Did you hear that sound? <laughs> this is a very good water bottle. Also, on top of which, <laughs> I just not I'm like yeah. <laughs> also, because because the top is like it's big. A, yeah, it actually feels like a, you're drinking from a glass. Ah, right. It's nice. How much was that? In sixty bucks. Nice. But it's a thermos as well, so you could put this much soup if you wanted to. Right. If you're a monster and you want to put two liters of soup. You can drain a homeless man blood and put it in his thermos too. It's medical grade. You can put a heart in here, put somebody's blood in there. Same blood type. It'll it'll survive. Yeah, it gets shipped with a biohazard uh, sticker. You just slap on that and Say there we word. go. It's a kettlebell. If you put some sand in there. Woo. So, is it, isn't water heavier than sand? Yeah, but wa water shifts weight in a mm. funny way when you're using it to work out. Right, right. When you're using it to work out. Like, yeah. It's as if like, you've done it before. Yeah, I've, I've, I've worked out <laughs> with water before. <laughs> I've been poor before. <laughs> you ever work out with water? You just take a bucket, just lift it? Yeah, something like that. It was uh, two buckets, a pole, using it to curl stuff. Interesting. Yeah, it's just... Uh, and then some people are like, oh, it's better that way because it works out your stabilizer because water is so <laughs> unstable, bro. I was like, okay. People will find anything to be like yo this is the new thing yeah man yeah have you ever been on a water bottle water bed water bed yes uh-huh i found it unsettling i like, don't like it at all no like why why did it, it feels before i even knew what was sleazy yeah. what, what sleazy meant right when i was a kid yeah it felt sleazy it defined the word for yeah you. yeah it was just like you get into the water bed and you you hear sit a down. slosh yeah you hear a slosh which is unsettling <laughs> you don't want to hear a slosh it's like should i be wet yeah it feels like i should i'm gonna get wet at any moment in like really hot places, it makes sense because the waterbed's always cool. Yeah. Because there's water under you. Word. But like you'll get still and then you still won't be still for like another minute. <laughs> and then you're like any movement you do, you'll be feeling it for like 45 seconds. Exactly. You're like, shit. Yeah. Who thought that was a good idea? No, man. Especially if you're sleeping with someone. Oh my God, that would be the worst. Right. The thing is, is that like some people, like they, they even breathe rattly. Mm. Right. Even if they rattle when they breathe. Okay. You would feel it on the hey, other man, side. Hey man, who are you sleeping with? <laughs> Who's this rattling? What's wrong with them? Okay, so we went to a cottage once. Okay. Right, all of us. During the winter time. Uh -huh. It was good. It was one of those things that had like 10 rooms or whatnot. It, w it was, was fun. somebody a radley ass sleeper? In Dude, you, you were there. I didn't realize it you was. You weren't in the room though. Yeah, no. Our friend Ali. Oh, I see. Oh my God. No last name. It's a very common first name. So you <laughs> common won't first know. first name. So you won't know. But probably every Ali. But, <laughs> but, um, that was some rattle. Yeah. That was some rattle. Yeah, man. We got some Hamas too. Yeah. Hamas will, yeah, make you want to leave, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know how his, his wife stays with him. That's good. Yeah. Dude, you might have noticed. What? We have some spoons in front of us. Yeah, we do, man. We have some spoons. Got some spoons? Do you know why we have some spoons? Spoons. I do, but yeah, I don't yeah. tell the people. We're going to try out some ice cream. Artisan ice cream. Artisan ice cream. Homemade artisan ice cream. Homemade. Made with love. Yeah. That was the first ingredients on the list. Was it? Love. No, how do wasn't. You, how do you capture that? Is that like some Monster Inc. situation where you like, you suck the love away from people? Okay. Put in ice cream? Oh, that, that'd be, I'd be okay with it. I'd be like, this is good ice cream. Whose love did you <laughs> Is this puppy love? Mm. Oh, man. There's going to be an epidemic of very sad puppies. Be like, oh, man, we need to get good ice cream, though. Right. Uh, all right. So this ice cream is made by uh, Javeria Artisan Ice Cream mm -hmm. follower on Instagram. Am I getting that right? Let me go double check this real quick. Yeah. See, double check that. Triple check that. I'm just assuming, yeah, Javeria Artisan Ice Cream. And uh, we got some samples. Yeah, man. I'm excited. We what, got are, what are the flavors? Or should we wait a second? Oh, yeah. Hey, let's not know. Let's I, just scoop it and then we'll... we'll, we'll should we we'll, talk about it first and then eat it? I don't even know, man. This is the first time we're doing this. <laughs> I think we should just eat it. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. You know what? Today, we're going to eat ice cream. You there know, people go. do reaction videos, which I think are... This wrong. is a reaction video. But this is a reaction video. This is a reaction video. video. But this is like, I'm eating the ice cream and react. It's not like, oh, this is what I think about this song. Right. It's exactly it. Should I get... I'll, let me get, go get, the, get the, the ice cream. Let me go get the ice cream. We'll either edit this out or I'll, I'm just going to talk for a while. No, don't edit it out. All right, fine. Guys, I'm excited about this ice cream. The ice cream is right here. I'm still in the room, bro. 
Yasin's gone to the other side of the studio, so uh, you can't hear him. What I like about this ice cream, first off, I'm reading the ingredients list. It's just normal things she makes from scratch. Um, the cool thing is that she has uh, like other ice creams and their ingredients, yeah. which are all like, it's like a cigarette box over here, right? right. And I'm like, ice cream has all this shit? <laughs> but her stuff is simple. It's like milk, mangoes, sugar, Greek yogurt, cream, milk powder, Himalayan salt, tropical flavor, and a few other things, and that's it. And then you switch over to like the store-bought stuff, and you're like, I can't even pronounce this shit. Why is cellulose gum carrageenan dextrose in here? What if I love that stuff? What if that's the... <laughs> that was the thing? This is adorable. She has little containers. Word, 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 word. All right, so we're going to start with the uh, classic chocolate here. Oh, man. Classic chocolate. Classic chocolate. Did I tell you my first job ever? Baskin Robbins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were, in, uh, you were illegally working there. Yeah. You were paid underneath the table. Underneath the table. There was underneath no table, table, but yeah. I was getting paid underneath something. <laughs> oh, man. $20 okay. a day. Let's crack this business up. Oh, by the way, all of those ingredients that you just read off? Right, right, right. Grass-fed all of it. She did it herself. <laughs> no, no, no. Look look at this. You, you, you open it, and then you got to peel it off. You got to open it again. That's why you know it's artisan. Yeah. You want to put that in the middle? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Also, I can't hear myself. Again? Yeah. Man, that sucks. I got to really fix this business up. You all know right, what I'm saying? All right, all right. It's good there? Not at all. It's oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay, yo, hold on a second. Let me set this up. I'm going to just start scooping this. Oh, there we go. There we Perfect. go. Perfect. Yeah. Ice cream time. Oh, man. Are we going to eat all of this? You know how you know you're getting something classy when you got to open it twice? <laughs> you're not, no, we're not going to eat the whole... Uh, you know it's what, fancy. Like, you know it's fancy when you open it and it's still not open? Yeah, live your life. Eat as much as you want. All right. Joke. All right. All right. As well. Oh, this looks good. Hold on a second. Let me try it first. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> See that? Taste it in your nose. That is a uh, that's a very good ice cream. That is really good ice cream. That is... That is rich. Mm. That's rich chocolate. Holy crap. That's really good. That's, that's, that is surprising. What you call this? Chocolate, chocolate, classic chocolate, classic chocolate. Has a made on date, mm. like made on the date. Mm. On the third, yo, this is amazing. Yeah. So Holy all crap. grass, all grass fed ingredients. I so did like not think I was going to enjoy this. Actually, <laughs> I thought it'd be like, yeah, ice cream, Gra- grass fed milk, grass fed butter, grass fed cream, or whatever. Mm. All, all of that. Oh. oh, man, this is nice. Oh, I haven't had breakfast. I've had breakfast. This is nice still. Dude, I'm going to, like, I'll save half of it for my wife. I'm like, hey, have you tried this? Right. So if you want to place an order, mm-hmm. send her a DM on Instagram three days before you need it. Okay. Because it takes three days for, for, for you to be. Because you're talking real ass ice cream, people. It's a process. Right. She doesn't have it just sitting there in, a, in, in some sort of hose that you just squeeze out. <laughs> she makes this ingredient one is love. She's got to harvest this from some people. <laughs> right. Exactly. You got to so, watch a. So the three days before, you send a message. You say what ice cream you want. She'll make it for it, and you go pick it up. Mm. Does she have other flavors that she left? Uh, she has other flavors. I don't know these flavors. Hey, it's I gotta Instagram. try one more. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. This we're t- gonna this try one. all of it. All right, this, good. Yeah, we're I'm trying. like, this is actually really good. We're gonna we're gonna try all of them. I'm not even a huge ice cream guy, but this is amazing. Mm-hmm. I wonder how annoying it is for people listening to us eat ice cream but not sharing. Hey guys, uh, watch the video. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right, all right, I'm done. Oh, wow, this is well. nice. Yeah, I'm going to put this in your freezer so it doesn't... Don't worry, I'll do it. All right, cover it up. All right. All right. Bon Amazing. You. Bon me. Very, very generous of you. He gave me the top shelf of, of his freezer. Oh, that was good. Classic chocolate. Classic chocolate. Baskin Robin don't taste like that. That was amazing. Or right, take a swip of your water so that you don't get uh, right. You, you don't get flavor con- cross contamination. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That'll ruin your second <laughs> <laughs> while the other flavor settles down. What are our other flavors, Yasin? Yasin D. All right. Next on the list. Let's have a look here. Let's reach in here. Coffee. Coffee. Oh. You know what? Higher level level of difficulty. You can you can really screw up coffee ice cream. I've seen it happen to people. I've seen it ha- happen to myself and other people. You try to make coffee ice cream? Yeah, we tried it once. Mm. My wife and I. 
Okay. It's a challenge. Man, you are, you are opening these things very quickly. Oh, wait, this, this one didn't have a... What am I doing? What'd you just do? Oh, yeah, we're going to need that. What are you doing, Yasin? <laughs> All right, you got it? Yeah, we got it. Good. Let's eat coffee. Right. Coffee. Oh, first off, what do you think about the color? I thought it'd be darker. You thought it'd be darker. But hey, you know what? Like, like it's, like, it's, it's more of like a like cafe au lait. Oh, here. You're just not... The texture is smoother. Hold on. Mm. That is amazing. This this reminds me of coffee crisp, right? Mm-hmm. Doesn't it? Oh my god, this reminds me of coffee crisp. It's so good. You it's can like, taste it in your nose again. <laughs> yeah. So this is you're right. This is a little smoother. Yeah. This is nice though. Mm. Oh man, she doesn't mess around. I don't mess around at all. Classic chocolate and coffee. Coffee, man. Oh man. Coffee's off the hook. Coffee's ridiculous. This coffee. Mm. It makes me make the sound in my mouth, which might be annoying later. I'm like, it's like, (laughs) yo, this is good. Okay, this is what I like about it. Right. Obviously coffee, but it's not apologetic. Mm -hmm. It's not trying to be sweeter than it needs to be. Oh, yeah, that's true. Or like chocolate. It's like, I'm coffee. I'm coffee, assholes. You're going to like me for who I am. It's like a strong black woman. I like it. (laughs) Yes, uh, uh, well, I mean... A more straight man point. It's not that sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> which I, which I like, dude. I've been go, I've been going nuts with bubble tea these days. Yeah. I've been I've been drinking bubble tea like a venge- with mm. a vengeance, <clears throat> and I never take cold bubble tea. I go warm bubble tea, mm. and I take thirty percent sweet. Right. Because you know they're doing the math back there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but I once ordered full sweet. Yeah. It tastes horrible. Hmm. Way too much. Yeah. So uh, this is not super sweet. It's just right. It is just right. Oh, I don't know what's better. Chocolate is my all-time go-to, but I guess that's from everybody's childhood. This is really good. Mm -hmm. This is when you want to be fancy. Yeah, she needs to open up a store. Yeah, Um, which 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 she did. Oh, did she? Okay. <laughs> Javeria Artisan Ice Cream. Well, you know, I mean... Oh, uh, you want a storefront. You you want like a brick and mortar thing. I want something in Toronto. This would be amazing. Oh, my God, dude. It's a high quality ice cream. For sure. It's better than Sweet Jesus. Mm-hmm. But Bang Sweet, Bangs. Jesus puts, uh, right, Sweet Jesus puts like... I always see a picture of Sweet Jesus Ice Cream. It's like, what what do you have there? It's an inverted cone? You can't even say it's, it's like an ice cream anymore. Like ice cream is a part of the equation. <laughs> what do you, it's like abstract art. No. Yo, stop eating, dude. Okay. <laughs> we got another one. All right. Oh, man, that was really good. Jeez. So in Toronto, we go to Bang Bangs a lot. That's homemade. We go to Sweet Jesus. We go to a bunch of... Have you tried the, the nitro uh, ice cream that has, like, uh, dry ice in it? Or nitrogen oxide in it, I guess. I have yet to try any ice cream in downtown Toronto. Oh, man, this is a good ice cream. All right. Jeez. All right, next on the list. spoon over here. Next on the list. Is it the last one? This is your people's favorite. Uh oh, it's Emily Mango. Oh yes, the actual favorite, right? <laughs> I'm like Tamron. Also, uh, important to note, the mangoes within the mango ice cream. Dude, this is mango lassi, right? The mangoes within the mango ice cream. Yeah, from Pakistan. Real. It's not like bought and it came from the Dominican or anything. It actually came from the homeland. Wow, your homeland. So I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Yo, That's, why did you? No, why, I'm kidding. Why did you take a? Because Pakistani mangoes are. No, no, no. I'm like, why did you take the garbage can? <laughs> oh, well, you know. You know, slide that. You got longer arms, right? Right. All right, mango <laughs> lusty. <laughs> Not equal outcome, equal opportunity. Okay, this is this is happening. All right, so it's gonna take a few more scrapes. This is what mango lusty tastes like. It's like back home. <laughs> Are you getting shivers? Have you tasted this taste before? Like this flavor? You... I've, I've had mon- mango lassi okay, before. Yeah. This, this seems to taste like mon- mango mango lassi. Mm. Well, I feel like you're the professional, so. Well, this is amazing. Yeah. This is amazing. This tastes very much like mango. It's not like a hint of mango. It's not even like... If you concentrate a little bit, it'll taste like mango. It's not mango adjacent. Mm-hmm. This feels like I'm scooping... Like if... If if I went to heaven, mm-hmm. okay, okay, and- <laughs> this went up a few notches. 
keep going. Right. And then, you know, we're, we're told we can have, there's, right. there's all types of stuff there. Right. Right. And I imagine in my head. Yeah. Mangoes from a tree mm-hmm. that when you pick it off the tree, you mm. cut off a slice. Yeah. And you put a spoon in it and you scoop it out. Oh, yeah. You get, you get mango ice cream. Ah. This is what, get, this is what you get. Jeez. Yeah. I was going to say that, you know what? It, it's, it definitely tastes like it's from mango. It doesn't taste like it's from like a syrup that mm-hmm. came from a can. Mm-hmm. And that's refreshing. And the Lussie thing, it's, it's a perfect balance. But then you went to heaven, you went to genital for those, right? <laughs> Because like, you I just invented, mango. Was, you don't even have mangoes, mango ice cream. Mango ice cream. That's exactly what and I mean. I don't know if my description can live up to that, <laughs> but I really like this. This is so good. Yeah, this will still have to be number two for me. I, the coffee is Coffee is number me. one, yeah. But if you had written these out yeah. and said, hey, what do you expect to like? I didn't think coffee would win, but that coffee is killer. And the chocolate, the good, it's like a step away from regular chocolate. Bro. Do you know, you know when you eat mango, right? You yeah. get those strings. Mm-hmm. I've got those strings in my mouth. No, 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 I'm telling you. This is no. legit. I, le- like, there was a mango in here. Mango was wow. Was once a part, like, it died here. <laughs> <laughs> I got just bones in my mouth. <laughs> mm. All right. Well, that's it for the podcast today. He's going to eat ice cream for the rest of the time. I wish these were bigger. <laughs> uh, there's different sizes as well for people who are interested. Too. All right. So this is a single serving, the size of my fist or a little smaller. I love that this this is this size. Yeah. Because this is what I would eat. Yes. Because exactly, I don't yeah. eat like a crazy person. Right. Right. No, this is this is satisfactory. This is perfect. Yeah. This is perfect for me. This is a 10 out of 10. I w- yeah, but you can get one that's slightly bigger and one that is, I believe, half a liter or just, just Yo, the biggest big size. Shout out the Instagram again. Right. Javeria Artisan Ice Cream. Mm. Go follow her on Instagram. Go follow her and get her ice cream. And then, and then place an order. Plus, you know what? Summer is limited. Yeah. We don't have very long summers. No. And the, the best way for you to... to, to, to to end off a good barbecue. Right. Some ice cream. Yeah. None of that shitty ice cream. None of that shitty. People know shitty ice cream. People know shitty ice cream. Here, listen. People don't want cake. People don't want ice cream. They no. don't even want pop anymore. No. Unless you're like, yeah, this is some homemade this shit. Homemade it has shit, yeah. eight ingredients. Yeah. It's not as bad for you. You're like, all right, let me have... Because you still want to have those things. Just those things are so bad for you. Plus, crappy ice cream doesn't pair well with like some type of meat that you marinated over the course of like an evening. And then you went and cooked it and you did it. You know, you put in some effort. Mm. And then in the ice cream, you're just like, all right, whatever. And this is really good ice cream. This is unusually good, where I'm suspicious <laughs> of what you might have done to this. Hey, the ingredients are very simple, bro. Yeah, it has baby blood in here. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it tastes too good. Um, yes. So, Speaking center of blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First off, thank you so much, Javeria. This was wonderful. Thanks, Yasin. Um, Absolutely amazing to know that you started this business after you uh, took a year off in between school. Passion of, uh, what did they call it? Uh, A labor of love, a labor of passion, shows. And damn, that's some fine ice cream, if I don't say myself. Like, that is amazing ass ice cream. You know what we should do? What we should do, man. That's what we should do. And this might be an idea for Javeria if she's listening, because she probably is, because people are talking about her ice cream. (laughs) Next time, we find some people that do some really good cookies, Right. Right. We taste their cookies. We right. get these two people to meet. Ice cream sandwiches, bango. Right. Part owners. Huh? <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah, Say- Sayed and Yasin were really trying to, you know, stop working and start that podcast. Turns out they became ice cream moguls. <laughs> ice cream sandwiches. That ice cream will make, that will make people do things, man. It would. It would. Can you imagine getting that chocolate? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Getting that chocolate ice cream? No, that coffee ice cream? Yeah. In between Oreo biscuits? Dude. I can imagine it makes a tear, brings a tear to my eye. That's what it does. That'd be so good. And it brings me diabetes. Mm. I would do it. I would take on the risk. This is the, if, you know, if I knew that eating this stuff like this all the time would give me diabetes, I think it might be worth it if it was this good every time. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. You're going to get diabetes anyways, is what I'm trying to say. Might as well get us some, some high quality. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want, you don't want the other guys. Yeah. You don't want Coca-Cola diabetes. You know what? I'm... I'm going to go ahead and say uh, this probably is the healthier option. This probably is the healthier option. Mm-hmm. This is, I don't know how to do a, a smooth segue to no. like uh, what we did last night from here. 
Uh, but we're gonna have to make that segue, people. So hang on, it's gonna be a hard right turn. <laughs> you might fall over a bit. UFC. But we were here last night watching people hit each other in the head for money. Yes, we did, and uh, it was really entertaining. So entertaining. There were some really fun fights, mm. back and forth fights. Not a boring fight. Right. Like the exciting fights were exciting. First, we got to talk about our guy Johns. Johns and Munoz. <laughs> we don't even know these guys. <laughs> I don't know one of the best entertaining fights yeah that's mm. true don't don't ask us for first names but it's johns and munoz <laughs> that guy got hit a lot and he kept fighting kept he, fighting yeah and it was white so he was like getting marked up but yep. he was like i'm still moving forward kept going and when you thought that he was out you thought he was going to go down for the count he wasn't nope and some more punches he was, though later <laughs> yeah though, later he though. was like oh yeah there it is <laughs> there's, only, there's, there's only so much you can take <laughs> And then, uh, and then the sad, the sad. I, I hope it's a conclusion. Yeah. What? Cub Swanson. Ah, uh, it's not a conclusion. Hey, Cub, come on, man. He got sat down with a jab. Yeah. Somebody hit him lightly in the face. Yeah. And Cub said, "I'm gonna sit down right here." Right. <laughs> I feel. I feel <laughs> sad. I feel like down. Cam's. Been, he's been doing this for a while. Cub has been doing this for a I while. Know. Like you know, I know you're like number five. Yeah. But like, it's so close. You on. feel like you're still in the fight. You're yeah. like, yeah, I can get the number one. It's just a couple of guys. I can get him. But I feel like he's starting to like get a little. Yeah. It always sucks when you also lose to a guy that not a lot of people know. Yeah. Who like bows to you for 10 seconds after you lose. Yeah. But yeah, good fight nonetheless. Right? No, that was fun. A lot of tattoos. People like that. Yeah. Man. And then we got into the good stuff. Mighty Mouse Johnson versus uh, Henry Cejudo. There was a little pause there. Still thinking about ice cream? <laughs> Might have been. He's like, what are those girls? And I'm like, we don't need to talk about those girls. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't, a, that wasn't a great fight. No. One of them, yeah, no. That's what, it. Yeah. We One wanted them, more. We wanted, we wanted more. more. We wanted them to fight. Because Aaron, if you're going to be on the main card, I feel like you got to have a little bit more than, than, than that. One of the girls uh, was homeless as a baby. I mean, that the backstory the is pretty. The backstory is interesting. Yeah, but like the fight itself. The other girl was really pretty. Yeah, she's been blown up in the scene. Yeah, but uh, good fight. Yeah. It's just not extremely exciting. And then uh, the friggin' event actually kicked off with I feel like with Demetrius and Henry Cejudo, eleven fights in a row for Demetrius champ for years running. He has been defending the belt with eleven, but. 11 fights. 11, 11 people have come and tried to take this thing belt, from him. And he's turned them back. He said, no. He said, no. It's mine. You can't have it. So these guys go through the division. Yeah. They beat everyone. Every little person they can. Are and, you little? I'll fight you. <laughs> and then get to the top. And then the king says, yeah. go back. The tiny king says, return. And yet, this time, on the 12th, uh, the 12th defense of his belt. Holy cow. He gets dethroned. Yeah, by Henry Cejudo. Henry Cejudo. Olympic gold medalist. Who seems like an incredibly earnest and kind individual. Seems that way. Oh, well, he was. I saw the post, the, the, oh, really? the, the post in oh, okay. uh, post fight, uh, what's it called? Yeah. Press release? Uh, press conference, whatever. Yeah. Super nice guy. Hey, his mic work was solid. Yeah. Thank you, dad, for believing in me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I yeah. was like, oh, man, this guy's saying all the right things. You know, he's talking about how he's like, you know, he always dreamed of taking his, uh, his uh, the the belt from the legend. He you know he obviously this uh, who That's doesn't huge. like who doesn't who doesn't love uh, Demetrius Johnson man. He's right. like took it in a hard fought match. Like it was fight. close. That's a close fight. Yeah. No one's saying it's a robbery. Nope. It could have gone either way. Yeah. It could have gone either way. Agreed. Agreed. But for me, I was like, this is kind of satisfying to see. Yeah. You know because now now you want to see what Demetrius does because the thing is is that no matter what you do, mm -hmm. if you've defended eleven times, when you defend the twelfth. You might be like, "Hey, I kind of got this in the bag." Yeah, right. Sometimes you gotta be a little, you, you gotta be reminded of what what's out there. Let's see what he transforms into. Will yeah. he take it up a level, or what's gonna happen? I do feel like if it happens again. I'll take Demetrius. Yeah, me too. Demetrius, is like, I'm I'm gonna tighten everything up. <laughs> yep. I I made some mistakes. Right. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Exactly that. You know. <clears throat> also, I think Demetrius is gonna put in some weight. Really? Yeah, I think he's going to put on some weight. Let's see. Because one of the one of the biggest things with regards to that fight yeah. was the fact that Henry Cejudo is a little bigger, a yes. little stronger. It's true. Just a little bit. The weight cut is a little a little bit more difficult for mm -hmm. Henry, but he does he does get the get that advantage. Yeah, I think uh, you know the what the end. the interesting thing is I I can say yeah, he was definitely at a disadvantage for weight, but he was at a advantage at speed. Yeah. And I feel like all right, are you a better fighter being just as fast? And are you slower with more weight? And right. that's the give. It's just like, what do you think you can play better as? I think speed works well as long as um, 
You don't get taken down and just have a guy taking you. Yeah, I don't as long think as you can hit hard, getting bigger. As long as you can get, you can hit harder. I'm yeah, assuming I if you get bigger, you can hit slightly kinda. harder. Yeah, barely. Yeah, it's true. Right? It doesn't really. This, it, it doesn't it's not, translate it's not the like way a you one would to think one. It it's not a yeah, one to one. It's weird. Yeah, because you, you got look like, at Anderson. Yeah, that guy wasn't like a like a, a huge dude. And yeah. just he was wispy, yeah. but he hit you and you put people down all the time. Mm. Yeah, he just hit you right in the right spot. That's the spot. There's your off button. Right, and then finally. Oh, that Which I'm really happy event. about the results of that. Cody Garbrandt fought TJ Dillashaw yeah. for number two, fight number two in the one of the very few fights that the beef between the two is a legit beef. It's a legit beef that's been going on for the better part of five years. Yeah, like, they're in their prime. This they they legitimately hate each other, it's and one of them is like, "Hey, man, I like this trainer. I left so I could follow this trainer. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to build my game up." Everyone else leaves. Right. But when I leave, apparently it's a big ass problem. I don't know exactly what happened. I have, I've heard a bit about it. Me neither. But apparently it was like, it was pretty rocky. Apparently. Yeah. But the thing is, is that uh, no one got hurt when he left. It was just like broken promises yeah. and whatnot. But you know what? Like a team alpha male, Uriah Faber, when he brings you in, he brings you in. Family. Right? Yeah, he's yeah. like, this is your house. It's this beside mine. House. Yeah. He like puts you up. <laughs> yeah, he true. makes you a brother. Yeah, and yeah. then you're like, hey, I won. I'm a champion. I'm going to go train over here. I'm going to take your trainer and we'll make our own thing. Yeah. I can see it rubbing people the wrong way whatever yeah i see it too yeah. i couldn't care less who's right or wrong yeah, yeah right yeah. i just wanted that fight. i just want like want legitimate animosity yeah let's go up to a fight and that fight delivered i don't i space. don't particularly like cody sure um, you don't like his neck tattoos no i think his tattoos are cool yeah i just don't cool. i just don't like him like him yeah i think tj uh i think i think uh i think i like tj's first fight with him mm-hmm. right i like the fact that there's beef and then after this is be able to talk back it up right and this was backed up twice mm. in like not in like oh i, I kind of see it yeah. or a close fight or went right. to the decision no it wasn't that tj sat him down twice yeah, in both fights and then pretty quick and almost took his lights out yeah it yeah. actually makes you question if cody galbrand has a chin because tj could just put him down yeah over and over again yeah and TJ's not like a knockout artist per se. No. So. And the thing is, is that TJ is actually a very good grappler yeah. and didn't even go to the ground. He don't, don't go to the ground. He don't go on the ground. He's like, all right, let's 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 swing and bang. Let's swing and bang. Whatever that is. Yo, Goldberg, <laughs> stop it. <laughs> what, what is uh, it? Stand and bang. Stand and bang. Thank Play you. Play pray, stand and bang. <laughs> you know. Swing for the. Shuck and buck. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, TJ, uh, TJ, uh, Dilla defends Shaw. his belt yep. and shuts that down. It's not going to be a fight yeah. number, th- number two, There's or number three, rather. New kings for the tiny yeah. people. Actually, no, TJ was already the king, right? He yeah. was already the champ. So yeah. the yeah. tiny people but, are. Like he had to get rid of Cody because Cody was like, yeah. I just came off of the sofa. My back was bad. I had right. like, like a he bunch of things. He just ended the conversation. Yeah. He's, he's like, like we done it. talking? Yeah, yeah. I think we're done talking. Yeah. 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 Are you 100%? Because yeah. we'll take you out. Yeah. We'll see you in three years. <laughs> Or something, because you can't do it again. No, that, that quick. You That's have to it. be at least like three, four fights in between. No, Cody takes the back seat for a little while. Yeah, um, yeah, basically what happens. But that's not the biggest. That's not the biggest thing to happen in the MMA UFC world, my friend. Oh, tell me the biggest thing. What's the biggest thing? The biggest thing is that they have confirmed. What? They have confirmed Connor the King McGregor. Uh oh, is fighting Khabib Nurmagomedov. Khabib. The eagle is hungry. Oh man! The eagle is hungry, bro. The eagle is hungry, right? Does Send that, me does location. That scare you, by the way. The eagle is hungry. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> okay. <You're right. laughs> Khabib said, "Send me location. Send me location. just send me location. And drop in. I show up. <laughs> you drop in. I'll fight you underneath a bridge." He said. Yeah, meet me <clears throat> under the bridge at two o'clock. I will be there with soup. <laughs> so Khabib is finally gonna get his crack yeah at the UFC chicken as he calls it yeah yeah as he, yeah, call, yeah. As he calls Conor I was like, McGregor I get when he smack talks he's Russian he don't know what he's saying <laughs> where is UFC chicken yeah it'll kill him yo that's gonna be a great fight I was Co- hoping it'd be in Ireland or Russia or some shit on yeah, a yeah. barge like in the <laughs> ocean like something crazy like an oil rig like a street fighter you know like dun, 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 like zoom in guys are in the back you know just moving around that would be fun but they're doing it like in California I believe Las Vegas is it? or Madison yeah. Madison Square no definitely not Madison it's mm. it's uh, it's, in, it's on the west coast okay. either way 
but it'll be a huge fight. The thing is, is that the promo clip package. I want more ice cream. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Dude, control yourself. Yeah. It's actually very good. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, um, the promo package mm-hmm. is uh, you see you see Conor McGregor losing his mind, mm. throwing dollies. It's part of the promo package for the UFC announcement. Yeah. Right? And then, you know, you see Conor, I mean, what's it called? Khabib is like, why you do this? Yeah. If you want to fight, let's fight. That's fine. You know, it's very simple, yeah. right? Why are you throwing dollies? Let's just go, right? Mm. Let's fight. And then after, then there's the big, huge announcement. And then you get to see like the highlight reels of each one of those guys. Right. You know, the thing is, is this? Right. It's like you watch Conor fight. Mm-hmm. And Conor's a small, I mean, smallish guy. He doesn't look like he could be a knockout artist. Yeah. But that left hand is like freaking powerful. It's like a piston. And then, which is kind of scary mm-hmm. when you see Conor fight. But then when you see Khabib fight, mm. Khabib is holding a guy's face. Like he, he's got his hand and he's cupping it around the dude's yeah. mouth like this. Sometimes he'll have his thumb in their mouth. Right. He's doing that. So he's holding your head and your face into the canvas right. as he like pushes your head further yeah. into it <laughs> with, like a, with his sort fists. of like. <laughs> it's That's like, what it would like if you were like, hey, here's a guy dying. <laughs> right. You're like, oh, that guy's killing that guy. Yeah. If Thanos was beating the crap out of uh, like Thor, the Hulk actually it seemed like that. That's yeah, how it that's how like Khabib that. beats you. Yeah, <laughs> where the Hulk didn't want to come back anymore. He's like, no, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Hulk, I'm we done. need you. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sit over here. <laughs> sit over here. Thanos beat the shit out of me. Yeah, it's gonna be a great fight, man. That's gonna be huge. That's gonna be a big fight. That probably will be the biggest UFC event that UFC will ever put up. Yeah, possibly. Quite po- uh, you know, almost undoubtedly. Yeah. Like I've seen uh Brock Lesnar put some crazy numbers up that don't even make sense. I'm like it won't why be are 3 million as, people watching this? It won't be as big as Connor because Connor yeah. did them all a favor mm. by having too much cocaine, getting angry, jumping on a plane, flying all over uh, all the way over to New York yeah. and throwing shit at you a bus. You think Connor does cocaine? I'm assuming he did. I think Connor does cocaine. Yeah, I think Yeah, Connor I feel like it cocaine. feeds well into his personality. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's start a business. I know. <laughs> I just gets really into like, I'm the king. I'll buy the suit. Yeah, fuck you, pinstripes. Let's do it. Oh, man. That was an amazing suit. That was an amazing suit. For He's people who don't know, Conor McGregor showed to a, show up to a press conference mm-hmm. when he was going to fight uh, the king of boxing. Right. Mayweather. And the pinstripes. If you looked real close, the pinstripe just said, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. All the way down. All the pinstripes were fuck yous. And that was, it. somehow, I was like, I respect that. Yeah. Nothing else. I don't respect the boats or the fur, but I'm like, that, you know, you got that made, man. That takes some effort. Yeah. <laughs> you know? that, that is some very nuanced, oh, it's some very, times. very, very nuanced uh, warfare. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. I like uh, watching any two of whatever in their, like, prime. Mm-hmm. And I feel like McGregor, Khabib are in their prime. That's what I loved about, you know, the Demetrius Hudo fight. K- Khabib is undefeated. Yeah, but he looked weak in his last one. He did not look good against Ally Quinta. I feel like that was a setup. Okay. <clears throat> what do you mean? He wanted to stand and show that he could be able to fight. Yeah. He can't. But yeah. he wanted to show that he could. Yeah. And that's what he wanted to do. Both mm-hmm. his trainer was saying the same thing. That's what he was saying and whatever. Right. He's like, no, this is the plan. And he stuck to a plan. The plan yeah. was a bad plan. Right? right. But this is what I'm saying. Yeah. He's going to go back mm-hmm. to take downs with Connor. There's no stand and bang with him. Mm-hmm. There is, there is, there's going to be takedowns for Connor. I hope so. A hundred percent. Yeah. Right. And also, you also know, you just got to weather that storm of that first couple rounds. Yeah. Because after that, Connor does get gassed. No matter what people say, mm-hmm. Connor does get tired in the later rounds. Right. And and Khabib does not. Apparently, he just gets stronger as the later rounds happen. You never seen him hurt though. That's what I'm trying to see. Is that once you get hurt, do you get tired when you get hurt? That's true. Because I get tired when I. That's get true. Hurt. Can you absorb? Can you absorb one of those left hands and yeah. still stand and fight? Are you still an eagle or are you a pigeon? <laughs> Wait, that's no. What accent am I doing? Are you a pigeon? Nah, nah, nah. I, I don't know what's happening. Man, we're making a lot of people upset. Oh, nobody Irish listens to this. This podcast? Are you sure? Because we have Somalis that listen to this podcast. Well, none of them are Irish. So yeah, I am. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm just pointing out the fact that we didn't think that we had Somali uh, listeners. I thought we would have more Somalis than Irish folk, <laughs> right? I'm just saying. No, you know what? Yeah. The Irish people are very supportive of like the Palestinian movement and a bunch of other things. So they support us by, by yeah, association somehow. of some sort? Somehow. All right, Yassine. <laughs> I love your optimism. Anyway, 
So that's that. We're looking forward to that. That's on October 9th. October 9th. Hey, maybe, maybe we should fly out. Maybe we we'll go watch that fight. Yeah, maybe we should uh, Maybe we should watch it in the basement. <laughs> we should do a... You know what? We should do a, a podcast before that one. We'll do a UFC yeah, one. Yeah, we'll that's definitely a big do one. Maybe we'll, we'll get a few people. Mm-hmm. Get some peoples in here. Oh, man. We're going to have Zia. We can have Z and Chaz. Yeah, okay. Let's cool. do it that way. That right. might be a cool combo. We haven't yeah, seen those folks. That's true. Big personalities. Right. Big guys. Big guys. Big guys, big personality. Big guys, bigger personalities. Right. You, okay, so here's the deal. I just a little shout out for Zia. Okay. <clears throat> I've always watched fights in the basement. Okay. In my yeah. own basement. All right. Or sometimes I go to a place and, you know, I watch it over there. Mm-hmm. Right. But I've never gone to a Boston pizza with a bunch of dudes and watch a fight. Mm. Frankly, I didn't think that it would be fun. Mm. And then I went. Mm-hmm. It took him six months for him to like invite me to a bunch of them, and I just kept on saying no. Mm. And then I went. Yeah, dude, it's pretty fun watching it with Zia. Yeah, man. Specifically Zia right. because he loses his mind. He can't sit for half of the fights. Yeah, man. Right. Slapping the back of my neck, just like rocking me back and forth. I can tell you haven't seen like sporting events and groups. Yeah, I have you're not. like Zia. He does this right. <laughs> have you heard of this getting in groups thing and watching sporting events? Apparently, people stand up. <laughs> No, I mean, I went, I went to watch a <laughs> basketball games. No one gets as, as hyped as he does. It's not the same. It's not the same. Not as much, not as, much no. as that guy does, man. No. Jeez. Yeah. Zia's a, and also, like, I'm like, oh, you got a lot of guys here. Yeah. There's like 22 guys here of different ages and stuff, different levels of beard, you know, <laughs> games. Yeah, a lot of them are dads. Yeah, like unruly long beard and then like a classy, like nice beard over here. Yeah, yeah. Different beards. Some people show up with collared shirts. Yeah. Some sisters have beards. Trying to fit in. Oh, you don't know? Okay, I'll point him out to you next time. So. Um, but yeah, Boston Pizza. Boston Pizza. You went to Carabana yesterday? No, I did not, bro. You've ever been to Carabana? No, I have not. I feel like I would be very uncomfortable. You don't want to go next year? I don't know if I want to go. Okay, why Fine. Not? I don't know. It's right there. Yeah, I guess so. It was yesterday, you know? I guess watching people have fun is fun. I, don't... <laughs> I love how you said that. I guess watching people having fun is fun. But like uh That's not how I have fun. That's what you're thinking. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. Is there food there? I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot there's of There's gonna cool be food. food, there's gonna be costumes, lots of music. Yeah. You get to see like the West Indian culture, the island life and stuff. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Yeah. It we was should check it out. A little Russian. All right, we should go. Yeah, he's a little Russian. This yeah. Caribbean guy's a little Russian. Everybody's a little Russian today. <laughs> That's what he started off with. So yeah, no, I guess we should go. It's part of it's part of like the Toronto thing. Let's do this. We will figure out um, four to five things that are very distinctly Toronto, like yeah. TIFF. Yeah, like those kind of things. We need to do. TIF. We're doing TIF this year. We're doing TIFF this yeah, year. We're doing we got at least, and then we'll do a few of these and be like, hey. We thought, just like the ice cream, didn't think it was going to be all that. Best ice cream ever. Who that's knows? true. That's true. Right? What if I, yeah, no, I don't. What if that. like the year after you're like, I'm going to be a peacock, a caravan, <laughs> and then you're there peacocking. And I was like, damn, I didn't expect this. <laughs> we were supposed to record today, but you seen is out. Yeah. Just, uh, just peacocking it peacocking up. And it. he's doing the best. I mean, he's really the best. It's, you know. <laughs> living my best life there. Yeah. He's living his best peacock life. <laughs> All right, we should do that. Uh, But what's coming up, though, very soon. Very, very soon. Fan Expo. Oh, I'm pumped. So we're going to do the same thing. We should dress up. You're going to dress up? Yeah. Hmm. That's what? I know that's like a theoretical question, but seriously, we should dress up. We got to figure out what we would dress up as. Yeah, but are you cool with just like, all right, committing to dressing up? It depends on how, how like involved this entire process is. I'm not saying you're going to have to buy paper mache. Okay. Right? I'm not saying that. No one buys paper mache. They do paper mache. I don't, hey, (laughs) you and your crafts, go go back to Michael's where you came from. Uh, Uh, I would, I I would do something Naruto based. Okay. But yeah, you'd be cool with getting an ensemble together. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, like a couple items that... Yeah, I'm not saying you need a prosthetic eye. That's what I'm saying. Like, we'll do some, but I want us to be like, yeah, you're obviously this person. Okay. I want us to do more than uh, a Captain America shirt. Right, 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 right. Right? Fair enough. We're doing it. Right. Why don't we do it? Let's do it. It'd be fun. If we're going to do it, let's do it. Yeah. We're not going to do this one with 35. (laughs) 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 Uh, All right, I'm going to hit up Amazon. Let's see if I can see some buy some stuff hey let me know what you're thinking i want to do something i'm right, definitely right, right. gonna i might put on a robe i might like become ang or, oh that'd be cool that would be cool i can wear a thing i can make an arrow on my head yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. already have the whole thing happening it's like a half i'm halfway there yeah i can mm. just draw on your friggin' head <laughs> without any problem it's like a chalk thing it's yeah. like the arrow kind of points a little <laughs> it's a little <laughs> off it's like a little, little southwest <laughs> something like that 
All right. I'm a little excited. <laughs> Thanks. That's great. No, no, no. I'm just, just You're thinking. more nervous now. You were very excited a minute ago. And then I brought it <laughs> No, no, no. I was just thinking, like, I wish I had enough time mm-hmm. because there's a particular cosplay thing, idea that I always had that I wanted to do, Ooh. but I will not be able to do. You never read the... Uh, the, the No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the heck you were about to say. No. I didn't read that. <laughs> What were you going to say? Okay, so there's a graphic novel, standalone graphic novel, not based on anything else except the graphic novel itself. It's called Saga. Oh, I didn't read that one. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Uh, It's got like seven or eight volumes right now. Wow. Uh, Yeah, but the volumes are like... Nothing. It's like trade volumes. They're very short. Uh, And there's a guy... In the in that uh, comic, if, if people like if people who are listening who like uh, graphic novels, even if you you're like kind of on the fence, it sounds like a good idea. Mm-hmm. Definitely check Saga out. Saga is always at like number one or number two in like top all time wow. top ten graphic novels. So you know, um, check that out. Anyway, there's a guy, he's Prince Robot. So there's there's Prince yeah Robot and. He dresses up like he's he's dressed as a prince, like a mm-hmm. classic uh, prince with like a you know like a sword, like whatever, like a fencing sword, yeah. I guess, or something, or like a thin blade sword, I okay. guess, whatever. Yeah. But like his head is like a computer monitor, what? and the screen shows like little flashes of like things that he's thinking or intentions or like emotions. Oh man! And it's a very odd, weird thing, but it looks looks really cool okay yeah so I, I, there's a couple of people who've made that cosplay yeah but it's a lot of, it, obviously the the amount of time it takes well for your head is a computer yeah. monitor you yeah seen? so that's that and then they have it controlled so that they can because you, you need to you be able have, to see you need it functional yeah as well you need to flash information and then you need to look through it somehow yeah all right cool i was gonna do like uh you know just paint my face a little bit maybe maybe buy some shoes that i can wear later well, let me show and you. by red belt and then i'll be like i'm a pirate but i like your prince robot idea better okay i'm just going to show you the original show me the original this is prince robot yeah that would take effort yeah. also he, he has coats on that seem very decadent and yes. he also seems to have three coats on he's a he's a prince they got a they, they layer up they're about the layers obviously yeah that's his like uh, evening attire, though. Like he has different clothes. I thought he had like you know like Superman has a uniform. Yeah. But this guy seems to have different outfits for different times of the day. Here's a here's a cosplay of it. That's awesome. Right. Um, it's freaking dope. If, if I if 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 I had the ability to do this, this would be amazing. I want to know how they did that. I really do, because those that looks. How do you get your head in there and still have it on? Um, the casing is, so it's a flat screen. Yeah. I think it's two screens like this so that you can see through it. And then after you, the image, the image is like half the images on the top, half the images in the bottom, but you can't, like, it's a very small slit. Right. Right. And then, uh, yeah, something, I think it's something like that. Man, you're going to get so many Rishtas. <laughs> Girls are going to be like, oh my God, who's a TV? I want to marry the prince. I want to marry the TV. I <laughs> love TV. We're both seeing this from a very different point of view i'm looking at it as like i'm a prince you're looking at it from a tv yeah i'm like you're a tv you think girls know you're a prince uh and the off chance they read your saga novel (laughs) hey man anyway uh yeah i think i'll do something naruto based all right cool is that guy from naruto no that guy's from saga but there's no connection no zero yeah naruto would be easier yeah naruto is easy because you can just go on amazon you just like there's a bunch of stuff like the cape Hmm. um with a high collar yeah the uh, akatsuki I want to do something creative, just gender bending. Just be like, what do you Ariel. want to gender bend? Okay, just, wow. Just take a classic, just like I'm Cinderella. Right. What? You're gonna be that aggressive as well. Yeah, I'm gonna right. be aggressive Cinderella. Like, nobody, nobody kisses me. Wait, no, that's not no, the kiss one. That's, that's Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. Sorry. Yeah, nobody wakes me up. Right. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> just pissed. I'm angry, Cinderella. What? <laughs> oh man, Get your dwarfs out of here, dude. Please gender bend Ariel. Gender bend Ariel. Yeah. Just wear like a bikini top. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't think I could. I, I don't think you'd be seen with me. No. You'd be okay with it since you're like, your head would be in a TV. <laughs> you'd be okay with it. And the TV, the weirdest, TV the weirdest just would have a question mark on it. Like, I don't know either, guys. <laughs> I don't know either. The prince doesn't know. Oh, man. 
All right, cool. So that's coming up. And then after we have TIFF, we got to figure that up as well. And then when the weather gets a little bit cooler, but not so, mm-hmm. like, we get closer to, like, end of August. Yeah. Uh, we should do, we should go to, we should do the traveling podcast thing, but cool. within Toronto. Cool. Another idea, uh, we should do this as a, uh, I want to do a, a podcast um, and that night perform, do stand up. We're like, we'll come up with a few subjects that mm. we think are funny. Yeah. I'll write about it or think about it for the next like three, four hours. Right. And we'll do stand up that night. Okay, cool. So, uh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm just going to have a regular spot on Mondays. Right. So we'll maybe do it on a Sunday and do the, the stand up on the Monday. Right. And then, like, you come check it out. We could talk about it. All right, good. That might be fun. All right. Those are our ideas, people. Thank you for listening to us brainstorm. And once again, Javeria's artisan. artisan. Ice cream. Instagram. Go to Instagram. Don't, don't even mess with it on... Actually, go ahead and mess with it on Instagram so she knows you're alive. Uh, but just go get... This is some good ice cream. You won't know. Like, I did not... I was not looking forward to this ice cream. Yeah. And now after having it, I'm like, can we wrap this podcast up? <laughs> because you want to finish one of them? I want to... I was going to have my sister... My wife is going to have this. And I'm like, I'm just going to eat the coffee. Yeah, just the coffee. Yeah, she can have the chocolate right. and the mango lassi, which lassi. are still good. Yes, yes, So yes. I'm not doing her a disservice, you right. know? Right. Right. With that coffee, but you're doing though. yourself a service. That coffee's from me. That coffee. Oh, well, I have all three. I don't have to share. Actually, God no. Dang it. I'm going to have to share. Yeah, you have parents here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, dad. <laughs> My dad's going to want the mango. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay, that's it for this week. Um, we'll be back in a week. We got some other stuff coming on, coming down the pikes. Yeah. I can't pikes. think of it right now. Subscribe. Yeah. Like. Um, wolf. Whatever you want to do. That's a way back callback. Yeah, man. <laughs> throw a... Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, this is the summertime, so I like driving at nighttime. And what mm. I've been doing, people shouting at us, uh, shouting us out on Instagram, yeah. saying, hey, we listen to the podcast. We're liking it, whatnot. Yeah. Guess what? What? I drop off a t-shirt in the middle of the night. Ooh, to who? Uh, whoever wants who? to shout us out and gives me an address. I just whoever drop it off. does a shout. And if you have a shirt, you're getting another shirt. Abdul Wasi Rafi, we saw your Jim and Namaz wearing your Crash and Flow t-shirt. Yes, I got to post that up. My brother sent me a picture. Yeah. I was like, dang, this guy's wearing on Jimma. He's wearing Crash and Flow. Yeah. That's special. Yes, it is. Yeah. Very special indeed. Yeah, he, ha- he could have worn any podcast. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. All right, people, take care of yourselves. We'll be back in a week. Pee- what was I going to say? I was going to say something else. Peas. Please. Please like and subscribe. Shout us out. We'll send you a t-shirt. Peace. Take care. Bye-bye.